The Weld tool in Cricut Design Space has finally undergone a much needed transformation to help bring Cricut Design Space a little bit more into the design world and expand the functionalities of the software. I'm going to show you exactly what changes have been made and how you can use the Weld tool. My name is Kelly and let's get clacking. Now I did also want to mention that I am using the beta version of the software, which just means that it's still in testing and it'll be available for general use soon. But if you want early access to these features, you too can use the beta version of the software. In Cricut Design Space, you can click on the three lines with a hamburger at the top left hand corner of your screen, click on settings, and here under application experience, you will see I have beta ticked. Now yours will probably say live, but mine currently says beta. The weld tool was previously used to only merge shapes into one layer. Now they've added on a few extra things that you can do that will completely transform how we actually use this tool. And I'm so excited for it. The weld tool is now called combine. And it can be found in exactly the same location as before to the right hand side of the slice tool. When you have some shapes added to your canvas, you will be able to combine them in unique ways to be able to use them with the weld feature. As an example, if you wanted to have a little heart showing up at the top of this star like that, you would click drag and select the shapes and then you will see the combine tool or the weld tool is now available to use. So when you click on it, it will now give you a few different options. You can weld exactly like how you used to in the past, and that still works in the same way as the weld feature used to work, where you cannot undo this result. The only way that you can undo a normal standard weld is by clicking the undo button in the top left hand side of your canvas, and then you'll be able to separate your shapes again. But with the new way that the weld or combine tool has been redesigned, when you click on combine, instead of using weld, I would suggest that you now start using Unite. What Unite does is it gives you exactly the same result as what you would have with the weld. But as you can see on the right hand side in the layers panel, those layers still stay separate which is incredible because it means that if you've made a mistake and you want to now undo that result, you are now able to do that. So you can then right click and right at the bottom, you can then click undo unite and it'll separate the layers again. So this is a game changer for those kinds of uses. Some other ways of using the new combine tool is to subtract. So that means that whichever layer is at the top, will then be subtracted from the layer that is at the back. So because the heart is above the star, when we click subtract, the heart then gets removed from the star. So that's just an important thing that you need to know there is that whatever layer that you have at the top will be removed and the bottom layer will then remain. If you want to use the subtract tool, add in a square to your canvas, resize it send it to the back so that you can see what you're working with. Select both of the layers and by using the subtract tool you can very easily create a stencil without having to go and delete the other layers like you would have previously. The next option is intersect. So that means wherever those two shapes are overlapping each other, that little part is the part that will remain. So when you click intersect you can see we've now created a nice little diamond type shape from the tiny little section where those two shapes intersected each other or overlapped each other. If you wanted to use the intersect tool, you can have your pattern like we did for the stencil, add in a shape and wherever the pattern intersects the shape, that's what you will end up with. So if we hover over that and we click intersect, this is a great way of getting a pattern into a shape that you can use in many different ways. And lastly, we have exclude. So exclude is exactly the opposite of intersect. And wherever the two shapes overlap, that will now be removed from the shape. And what's very interesting about the exclude tool is that it's very similar as to how you would use the slice tool. So as an example, we have these two objects. And if I want the heart to be a hole in the middle of the square, I can select them both, 
and click exclude and immediately I now have exactly what I wanted but I don't have to go again and delete the layers and I now can undo it at any stage. So the combine tool is now really, really flexible and really strong to use in the future instead of some of the other tools. With the combine feature, you can still treat it very much the same as how you previously treated the weld feature. I used to use the weld feature to combine everything into one layer so that I could easily make stencils and use it along with the slice feature. Now the reason I did this is because you can only slice two layers at a time and if I'm combining multiple shapes into a single layer then I can slice it out of a square and make a really cool stencil which you can still do with the combine feature. Next up we're going to explore the layers section and arranging your layers. So check out that video here and remember be kind to someone today. See you there!